Good day. Today we're going to discuss exponential equation and logarithm. Okay, we have solving exponential equations with different bases. Now, in the previous chapter, we discussed how to solve exponential equations. However, if you can still remember, we have a step there stating that if the base are not the same, then we cannot proceed. Now, in this discussion, we are going to have uh, solving the exponential equations with different bases. Now, here uh, are the steps in solving exponential equation with different bases. First, we have to make each side of the equation as single term. The exponent must have single base. Okay. For the next step, we have to use the properties or the laws of logarithm. And then we can now isolate the variable. And of course, this is optional. If you have a calculator, you can determine the exact value of the variable. Okay, let's have an example. Solve the following equation. 8 times 10 raised to the power of x plus 2 plus 7 equals 63. As we can see here, okay, we cannot express 63 with the base of 8 or the base of 10 or the base of 7. At the same time, 7 cannot be expressed with the base of 10 or 8. So in this, in this case, we cannot use the, uh, the, the usual way of solving uh, exponential equation that we have discussed previously. So in this case, we have to uh, do some uh, logarithmic tricks. Okay, or actually they are not tricks, but these are properties of logarithm or the loss of logarithm also. Okay, on the first step, we make sure that uh, as much as possible, we have to do, we have to make the one side of the equation as a single term. Okay, so in this case, we have to uh, subtract both sides by 7. So now, since we have 7 here, so 7 minus 7 is 0, 63 minus 7 is 56. Okay, and we want to have a single base, uh, an exponent with single base. As we can see here, the 10 should be multiplied by 8. The 10 raised to x plus 2 rather should be multiplied by 8. So in this case, we have to divide both sides by 8. Okay, so we have 10 raised to the power of x plus 2 equals 7. Now, on the second step, we have to use the properties or laws of logarithm. So we can actually transform this equation, this uh, uh, exponential equation into logarithmic equation. So this is the base, this is the argument, and this is the answer. So we have this one. Okay, so uh, logarithm of 7 base 10 equals x plus 2. Okay, in this case, we can now isolate the variable since we have x plus 2 here. So we have to subtract both sides by 2 and the value of our x must be the log of 7 with base 10 minus 2. Okay. And that is, if we have calculators, we can actually approximate the value of our x. Okay. And that's equal to negative 1.15. Okay. Next example. Let's have negative 3 times 19 raised to negative x plus 2 equals negative 13. As we can see here, negative 3, 2, negative 13, they cannot be expressed with the same base. So we cannot use the usual way of solving logarithmic equation with the same bases. So first step, we make sure 
we are going to have a single logarithmic equation, single uh, logarithmic term, mm, not logarithmic. We have to make each side of the equation as a single term rather. Okay. So we have to subtract both sides by 2. Okay, and then, of course, negative 13 minus 2 is equal to negative 15, and this is 0. And then, since we have negative 3 here, so we have to divide both sides by 3 to make uh, 19 raised to negative x equals 5. And then we can now use properties of law or laws of logarithm. So, we have this one. We transform the logarithmic, uh, the not logarithmic, we transform exponential equation into logarithmic equation. And since on the left side, we have negative x here, as much as, uh, since we are going to get only the value of x. So we multiply both sides by negative 1, and then we have the value of our x would be negative log of 5 with base 19. That is approximately equal to negative 0 0.55. Okay, let's have another example. 4 times 20 raised to x plus 3 equals 6, uh, minus 6 equals negative 26. Okay, so make each side of the equation as a single term. So we have to add both sides by 6. So negative 26 plus 6 is equal to negative 20. Negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. What remains, we have negative 4 times 20 raised to x plus 3. So we have to divide both sides by negative 4. Then we have 20 raised to x plus 3 equals 5. Then we can now proceed to the next step. We have used properties or laws of logarithm. So we have to transform, we can transform actually this exponential equation into logarithmic equation. So we have the logarithm of 5 with base 20 equals x plus 3. So this is the base, this is the argument. Okay, then we can now isolate our variable. So we have to subtract both sides by 3 to have x equals the logarithm of 5 with base 20 minus 3. And that's approximately equal to negative 2.46. So let's proceed to the last example. We have negative 7 times 19 raised to negative 10x plus 3 equals negative 33. First step, make each side of the equation as a single term. So, we subtract both sides by 3, and then since this is equal to 0, and this is equal to negative 36, we divide both sides by negative 7. Okay, so what we have, we have 19 raised to negative 10x equals 36 over 7. In this case, we can now use the properties or loss of logarithm. Okay, so we have... The logarithm of 36 over 7 with base 19 equals negative 10. Then we can isolate the x by dividing both sides by negative 10. So what we have is x equals negative logarithm of 36 over 7 with base 19 over 10 or approximately equal to zero, negative 0 0.06. So that's it for today.